Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to bypass FRP, factory reset protection, on your Samsung phone. We've received numerous requests for this tutorial, so before we dive in, let's take a moment to understand what FRP actually means. FRP stands for Factory Reset Protection. It is a security feature that Google has incorporated into Android Lollipop 5.1 devices and above to serve as a failsafe if such a device gets stolen. If you activate FRP on your Android phone, no one can factory reset the phone and use it without first logging into your Google account with the username and password. By default, it's enabled automatically if you have a Google account set up on your Samsung device and once enabled, you'll be asked to log in with the synced Google account and password to get into the device after a reset. While Google account verification is an impressive feature, there are instances where it becomes challenging, especially when you need to bypass the Google account on a Samsung device. This may happen if you've forgotten your Google account password or if you've purchased a secondhand Samsung phone with an active Samsung FRP lock. If you find yourself locked out of your Samsung phone and are wondering how to bypass Google account verification on Samsung, in this video we will show you how to do that, with that said let's get started. To begin, access your computer, I'm currently using Windows 11, but this method works just as well for Windows 10. We'll be using the Samfu FRP tool for this process. Samfu FRP tool is a straightforward one-click FRP removal software designed for Samsung phones to bypass of FRP locks. To download this tool, you can find the link in the description section below. Once downloaded and extracted, open the folder and launch the executable application. Connect your Samsung phone to the computer using the charging cable. Click on Remove FRP. If you're using a Verizon Samsung, click No on your screen. Open your emergency call option and dial star ash zero star ash. This will enable the test mode on your phone. After that click OK on the computer screen to continue. A pop-up screen will prompt you to enable USB debugging, click OK to accept. Now this action will automatically remove the FRP lock from your Samsung phone. Keep in mind that some phones may need to restart after the FRP removal process. And there you have it, 
That's how you can remove FRP from a Samsung phone using the Samfu FRP tool. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave feedback in the comments section below. Alright, see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.